Today, I want to talk to you about the occupied territories, also known as the West Bank, less known as, unfortunately, Judea and Samaria. Whenever I did PR for Israel, I'd been the only pro-Israeli activist that agreed with the Palestinians that the West Bank, the name the Palestinians, misleadingly attributed to the land between the Jordan Valley and the Mediterranean, is occupied. The only disagreement we had between us is by who is it really occupied by. And the truth is that the West Bank is not occupied by 250,000 Jewish settlers who are living in their ancestral homeland. The West Bank is occupied and colonized by more than 4 million Arabs, not Palestinians, but Arabs whose grandparents immigrated to the Jewish land in the early 1900s from the neighboring Arab countries, from Lebanon, from Syria, from Jordan, from Saudi Arabia, and from Egypt. The main reason most of them immigrated is because of the economic opportunities created by the Jews who returned back to their homeland. Whenever I mention this historic fact, the Palestinian and left-leaning Americans in the audience always looked at me in utter shock and disbelief. I even had cases where people shouted that what I say is abomination. <laughs> but if you don't believe me, maybe you will believe a top Hamas minister who confessed on live television about the true origin of the vast majority of Palestinians. Alhamdulillah, we all have an Arab country, and every Palestinian in Gaza and every Palestinian can come to the Arab country, whether it was from Saudi Arabia, or from Yemen, or from any country. That's why we have a lot of trouble. That's why we have a lot of trouble. I'm a Christian, and I'm a Christian. We all have a lot of trouble. And maybe there are more than 30 people named the Christian. We have a lot of trouble. We have a lot of trouble, and a lot of trouble, and a lot of trouble. ايش من هم الفلسطينيون؟ في عندنا في اسماء كثيرة اسمها المصري وجذورهم مصرية، جذورهم مصرية مصرية، قد يكونوا من الاسكندرية، من القاهرة، من دمياط، من الوجه البحري، من اسوان، من 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 الصعيد، نحن مصريون، نحن عرب، نحن مسلمون، نحن منكم الله اكبر، الله اكبر والله الحمد، الله اكبر يا اخوان نحن عددنا في في غزة مليون و800 عدد مصر حوالي 90 مليون يعني لو تيجي احنا قديش النسبه نسبه بسيطه جدا تقريبا 2% But wait this guy is speaking about Arabs in Gaza Gaza used to be part of Egypt What about those Arabs in the West Bank those who were expelled or deported when Israel was created that's another made up Palestinian lie After the balance of power shifted most Palestinians fled in 1949 back to the countries their parents came from. And they fled, not deported, not expelled, but fled because they were afraid of vengeance for the crimes they committed and for the Jews they murdered a decade or two earlier when they immigrated to the land. But why take my word for it? Who is better to tell the truth than Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas? عندما غادر الفلسطينيون مكرهي ارضهم هنالك دوافع قويه لذلك هل تذكرها وبالذات نحن في صفد كما في الخليل في نحس انه في ثارات قديمه من ثوره 29 أيوة. وهذه كانت بذاكره اهلنا بذاكره ابائنا الامر اللي جعلهم مجرد انه اصبحت موازين القوى العسكريه وما كانش في قوى قوى عسكريه بالمعنى الصحيح كان عدد من الشباب اللي بيقاتلوا وكله شغ... شغل بدائي شعروا انه الموازين انكسرت وبالتالي قرروا ان يرحلوا ولذلك رحلت المدينه كلها يعني كل من في المدينه رحل تحت هاجس تحت هذا الهاجس الحفظ الحفاظ على الاعراض والحفاظ على الامر But who is to blame for this horrible manipulation of history we can't blame the Palestinians of today their dogmatic beliefs evolve from decades of misinformation, from Palestinian revision of history, from brainwashing of an entire generation using lies and distortions. The young generation of Palestinians of today, the Oslo generation, just fed up the altered history books, the state-sponsored propaganda, and a pop culture of martyrdom in which every Jewish connection to the land was concealed or obliterated. 
Even the name Palestinians used today for this land, the West Bank, is a lie. The true name of the place, the name my grandparents and even the grandparents of today's Palestinians used is Judea and Samaria. The term the West Bank was made up in the 70s in order to conceal the ties that we Jews have to our homeland. The Jewish people are not strangers to this land. The Palestinians are. The first Jewish temple lies in Old Shiloh, the heart of Judea and Samaria. Most of Jewish religious sites mentioned in the Bible reside in Judea and Samaria. And why I'm telling you this? Because in a few months we have the opportunity to make history. Israel is going to annex large parts of Judea and Samaria and the Jordan Valley. Not just because of its strategic military importance to Israel's security, but also because it's simply our birthright, our right to live in our homeland. This is the place where we are meant to be. This is the place where we belong. And yet we still sacrifice part of our homeland to the made up people who call themselves Palestinians, even though they don't deserve it, so they can make peace with us, if they so choose. So please, don't be shy about our roots. We are to blame that the world is using Palestinian narrative and Palestinian vocabulary, such as the term the West Bank, instead of the real name, Judea and Samaria, Yehuda Shomron. In the next few months, we can rectify this wrong. So be proud, be part of the efforts to dispel decades of lies. Share this video so that the entire world will know we are claiming back our homeland and we are calling it by its real biblical historic name, the name that King David and King Solomon and all of the Jewish people never abandoned, Judea and Samaria, Yehuda and Shomron. And one small request from President Trump and from Prime Minister Netanyahu, whatever arrangements you have made with the peace plan, Joseph Stomp, that the Palestinians desecrated in 1969, must be reclaimed as well and annexed back to the state of Israel. Please make sure to follow me if you want to help me reach my goal to become a representative in the Israeli parliament. Please invite your friends to like my page. It takes just a few seconds. I will post instruction of how to do it in the first comment below.